Welcome to GIS TV. My name is Agnes and here's the latest news from GIS TV. GIS students mark Teacher's Day by handing out gifts and cards to their teachers. Prefects and IB1 students signed thank you cards and handed them out to teachers around the school, along with some chocolates. General students donated thousands of books to the Father Ray Foundation in Pata. Here's Language's Perfect Yukta handing over to books, the books to the charity. Thank I'm Tanisha, and I'm going to talk about house competition. For the final day before the midterm break, secondary students were given a unusual challenge. They were asked to imagine what it would be like to play sports with a disability. To help students empathize with, disability, with disabled ethnicities. They took part in football while blindfolded. They were also played volleyball without being able to stand up and create their own disabled friendly sport. Hi, I'm Dan Jr. and I'm talking about the drama. GIS students swept the boards following recent drama base exam. Dozens of GIS secondary students took part in the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art exam. The results have been released and shown that GIS students did brilliantly, gaining the highest grades and the best overall results in the region. GG in year 11 did particularly well scoring 99% in her test. Higher than anyone from the any other schools in this part of Thailand. Other amazing scores include Shania and Siren with 98 and Henry with 97 out of 100. Hi, I'm Mira and I'm going to be talking about Remembrance Day. A group of Year 9 students from Garden International School recently attended the annual Remembrance Ceremony at the Commonwealth War Graves Commission Cemetery in Canterbury. This prestigious ceremony, which is organised each year by the Royal British Legion, was attended by numerous ambassadors as well as representatives from both Thai and international organisations. The students who were accompanied by Mr Doyle and Miss March laid a wreath on behalf of the school in honour of those who died in all previous conflicts. During their trip they also visited the famous bridge on the River Kwai as well as the Death Railway Museum. Back at school, kind-hearted students bought hundreds of poppies to mark Remembrance Day. IB students, with help from the local branch of the Royal British Legion, arranged to sell the poppies and other items such as wristbands and rulers to mark Remembrance Day. A special whole school assembly took place every year to honour those who have been victims of war around the world. Students and teachers listened to the last post and then held a minute's silence to remember those who have suffered because of the war. GIS gave more than 17,000 baht to the British Legion. Once again, this is the most money raised in this area by any school or company. So, hello everyone, my name is Heng Heng, and I'm going to talk about drama with you. Students in year 9 and 10 had a series of drama workshops with a UK-based acting company. Performance exchange make a special trip to GIS to give students some trips on acting and performing. Actors workshop with students who are study IGSE drama and world research with a focus on chess brain and movements. At the end of the day, all secondary students enjoy watching and performance by the actors. Some events help perform some of the chess brain most famous solo for us. To see a video of the performance, check our our, our YouTube page. Hi, I'm Yuri, and I'll be talking about Diwali. JS celebrated Diwali in spectacular fashion with dances, songs, and traditional Indian snacks. The main hall was packed on November 5th to mark Diwali, the festival of light. 
Hi, my name is Mimi. I will be talking about enterprising students. Usually when students organize events, it's to see how much money we can raise for good causes. During the recent activity session, however, secondary students were set a different challenge. See how much enjoyment you can get. Student from Tiger devised a series of games for primary, primary students, and the winners were based on how much fun was had. And that's it for G GAS TV. Make sure to tune in next time.